So moving down the 3D modeling operations down from Extrude into Revolve, here are some details of the Revolve operation. Essentially we're taking a, um, a sketch here and we're revolving it around an axis by a particular angle in order to form uh, a 3D body. So here we can see the options in the details view. We select the geometry, in this case it's sketch one. Uh, we can see the example here which is this yellow um, sketch which is the base object for the extrusion or the or the revolve in this case, extrusion around an axis. Um, we're selecting the axis around which the, the, the revolve is going to occur. So here we're selecting the axis which is part of this plane definition. And uh, finally we're selecting an angle through which um, the revolve is going to occur. So, so here we can see the, uh, the chosen entities which, it, which are needed in order to define the revolve and the result on the lower right hand side um, that gives us this um, 3D revolved um, body. The sweet feature is the next item um, down the list, the third item, and allows us to define two sketches. Um, the first sketch being the profile sketch or the base object for, um, for the sweep and the second sketch being the path um, along which the first um, sketch is pulled in order to, to create the uh, 3D body. So here we can see this, um, th this sketch here and we define, uh, identify the profile. Um, so here on the right hand side here we see sketch 1 and sketch 2 identified as the profile and the path respectively and it results in, in, in this body once it's, it's pulled along the path. One of the options for sweeping is the alignment and it allows for a path tangent or um, global axes. Um, the path tangent reorients the profile to keep its orientation consistent um, and this can be seen here with this path tangent where it's um, consistent in terms of its um, relative position to the path. Uh, we can also use the global axis for profile orientation so it remains fixed um, regardless of um, the shape of the path. So here we can see the effect of global axis on the same example being set here for alignment. Under the details view for sweep we can also see an option for um, twist specification and we can have um, an option here for um, sweep with twist in order to, 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 to twist the geometry around um, <coughs> in, a particular, in a particular way so we can opt, opt for no twist which is a, a default but we can specify um, turns, number of turns to complete over the particular path length and we can also specify um, the length per one full turn in terms of the pitch as well. So we can see the different options available um, here for in this case the number of turns we have on this helix or spring coil we have one, two, three turns available and then on this four meter um, um, twisted example we're specifying 0.25 as, as number of turns and 16 meters as the pitch. Following